Hello and welcome to this Estranged Development Blog video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to get a, a skeletal mesh, in this case a shotgun, uh, out into Blender, edit it and then back into Unreal. So what I want to do is to remove this rail. I don't want to do this in Estranged, but I want to do this just as an example to show you how this works. So uh, here's the skeletal mesh at the bottom here, the shotgun. I'm going to right click on it, click Asset Actions, export. Um, let's just overwrite that one. That's one I exported earlier. So um, if we just reset this to default, it uses the 2013 SDK. It doesn't really matter. You can use the 20 SD, uh, 2018 SDK. Uh, there's not really much of a difference. So if you click export and then we'll go over to Blender. Here's one I imported earlier. Uh, I have pre-selected the rail on the top here. So that is ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see it's completely detached, so I'm just going to go delete vertices. So there we go. Uh, so let's go back into object mode. So what I'm going to do now is just do a fresh export of the FBX. Now, I haven't changed any FBX options here. This is the default when you install Blender. Uh, I just updated Blender, so all of my settings have been kind of wiped. So here's the shotgun. Let's overwrite it. And then what I want to do is I want to re-import it. So it's going to ask me where. I'm going to say that one. And it's matched the uh, materials. That's fine. However, it has failed to merge the bones. Now this is because the skeleton is different. At the root of the skeleton in the thing I just exported, there is this hierarchy in Blender that starts with SKM uh, shotgun, Italian shotgun. But in the um, skeleton, I do not want to regenerate the skeleton though. Uh, maybe I should have reverted that change. So let's just revert the change to the, uh, the skeletal mesh. There we go. So I've got the rail back. So Italian root joint is up here. So that is the root, and then we've got root joint under that. So let's go back to Blender and have a look at what happened here. So you see it's added a parent here. So we've got Italian root joint, Italian root joint. So that is the problem here. So if I go to the one below the parent, the Italian root joint in this case, and press Alt and P, and then click Clear Parent. And you see it loses the scale transform, which is fine. We can fix that on import. So that's, that's, that's all the changes we need to make in Blender. So if we go File, Export, Export FBX, we'll go back to the shotgun, and then we'll go back into Unreal. So in Unreal, what we want to do is we can't click Reimport on this asset um, because it does not have the correct scale set on import. So I'm going to import this one fresh. So I'm actually going to rename it to underscore modified keep it consistent. So double click that and you see it's found the skeleton. That's fine. Uh, this is important. You want to import normals and tangents when you're doing this because otherwise the uh, smooth services will look a bit strange. Um, what I'm going to do here, if we say Italian shotgun for the physics asset, so it actually has some physics. And here, because we're going from Blender and that scale is now massive. We want to set the uh, uniform import scale to 0 0.01. And then everything else here I believe is default. So if we click import, you see that gave me no warnings, uh, everything's fine there. And if I open it up, you'll see that there is no rail. And everything looks normal, all the normals look normal. Uh, if I go to preview animation, if I preview the firing loop, yeah, that looks to be working fine. If we look at reload, the reload one doesn't actually do anything. Interesting. I didn't know that. Maybe that, let's just double check that the reload one is not broken. So you go preview, reload loop. Yeah, okay, that doesn't do anything. Fine. Um, 
So yeah, you see that that's working fine. So if we go back to the, you see it's modified the skeleton, I think because it's either gained a bone or lost one, regardless. Let's just save that, that's fine. Um, so we've done that. What I'm gonna do now is apply it to this asset in game. So let's just set the wef weapon mesh to the modified version. You see that the rail is gone. We can go back again just to compare the view of everything else, but it, nothing else changes, just that. There's one more thing I need to do, and this is a strange specific, just so this preview works. Um, so just bear with me, you don't need to care about this, but in Estranged, uh, the skeletal mesh is used to determine what type of animations uh, it has. So with the shotgun, it's only got it's only assigned to that one skeletal mesh, so I just need to tell it that the modified one is also one it should look out for. So let's just or those. Again, you don't need to care about this. So if I click compile there, save that. Okay, so this shotgun should be ready to go now. So pick it up, fire it, scope it. It behaves like any other weapon in Estranged. So that's it from this development blog video. This is how you can round trip a, uh, a skeletal mesh asset uh, into Blender, uh, edit it, then get it back into Unreal and keep it working. Uh, thank you very much for watching.